Hi everyone, this is Vivek. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Firebase Analytics in your Flutter project. So before starting our video, make sure that you have Firebase set up ready for your Flutter app. If you haven't set up Firebase 8, then you can check the link given in the description to watch a video on how to set up Firebase in your Flutter app. So with Firebase setup, uh, you can easily integrate Google Analytics in your Firebase or Flutter app by few lines of course, okay? So let's go to our Firebase console and enable Google Analytics and then we will make some changes in the code and we will be able to collect analytics data from our app. So uh, go to your browser and log into your Firebase console and select your project. So for now, we are going to use this project, dummy project Flutter Hero. So here, uh, in the left hand section, you can see the option of analytics. Simply click there and click on dashboard. And you will see the option like this and here is a video for explaining about Google Analytics for Firebase. You can watch this video. So now click on enable Google Analytics. And we need to have Google Analytics account. So if you don't have a Google Analytics account, simply click on create a new account. And here you can provide a Google Analytics account name. So let's go with Plotter Hero. Now click on save. And you can choose uh, analytics location. So for me it is Nepal. And then uh, you can check this. Use the default setting for sharing Google Analytics data. And now click on this I accept the Google Analytics term and click on enable Google Analytics. Okay, now uh, it is asking us to add a Google Analytics SDK. So we will install Google Analytics package uh, from pop.dev later. Okay. So now here you can simply click on finish and now we are ready to uh, get analytics data. So it will take a uh, few minutes to hours to get the data. So let's complete uh, the initial work first. Okay. Now go to pop.dev and search for Firebase Analytics. And then simply go to installing tab and install the tab. Sorry, install the package in your project. Simply copy that link and paste it here in the terminal. Once the Firebase Analytics package is installed, we have to set up few things like uh, enabling the analytics data collection and we have to add Firebase Analytics in Navigator Observers inside our app. So in the main function, uh, before this closing curly braces, you have to add Firebase instance, sorry, Firebase Analytics dot instance dot Set analytics collection enabled and set it to true. And now scroll down and go back to your material app. And here you can see the option for navigator observers. And we have to add Firebase analytics observer. Okay. 
firebase analytics observer and it will okay here we have to provide instance of our current firebase okay so you can simply write firebase analytics dot instance and now we can record some events as well okay so if somebody tap on some of the screen we can record that event also so let's go back to documentation to get the code okay so you can go to the readme file to get the documentation simply click on uh, analytics use this documentation and let's select flutter here or uh, it will be selected in flutter by default as we are here from pop.dev and now we can simply log the event um, by writing this code snippet okay we can simply pass await virus analytics dot instance dot log event and we can pass the event name and we can pass the parameters if there are some associated data okay so it's quite uh, simple and straightforward simply copy this code and we'll track uh, some button click in our inside our app okay so so i will track how many people click on sign in button okay so here in the on pressed so on uh, this is uh, ui only i haven't uh, started the integration part so let's track how many people click on sign in with email okay so let's make this on paste function asynchronous and simply uh, paste the code that we have copied and let's import the firebase analytics package here and you can pass the uh, event name okay and i can simply go with uh, sign in with email click so this is my event name and if i have to pass any other data then i can pass here but i don't have any other data to pass so i will simply uh, get it from this and now we are good to go so if you have this app up and running already then make sure that you stop the app and run it again and after running it successfully we will see uh, this data in our analytics dashboard okay so if you go here in our dummy project it will take few hours to update okay so make sure that you you wait for few hours okay so i will show you as soon as it is ready be sure to check the description if i have some updates i will uh, write in the description okay so for now let's uh, start the app or let's run the app okay finally the app is built and it is running in my mobile device and now you can see the user in the firebase analytics so go back to firebase console and here you can see active users in last 30 minutes one and here you can see the country and you can explore more in analytics.google.com so guys how's this video if you like this video give us a thumbs up and if you have any problems while following the steps on here please don't hesitate to comment below thank you for watching